everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. First of all, sorry that we're starting out the video with the shell kind of already done. I started building this and then I, <laughs> I did basically everything you can see right now. And then I realized that I hadn't pressed record, but I was like, I like the shell so much. I didn't want to redo it. So hopefully it's okay with you, but yeah. Nothing to do about it now, anyway. <laughs> so, we're building a family farmhouse. I, if I recall correctly, there's room for two parents, two kids, one teen, and also a cat, possibly a dog, if you want there to be one of those. So, there's just a litter box in the house, which is why I say a cat, but you can also just take it away and then have a dog there instead, or one of, one of both. That's a an option as well. Um, so I started building this Thursday after doing the trailer reaction and then finish it up Sunday. So I said that I was gonna do Zodiac Houses this week, but because I finished this Sunday and then, I kid you not, <laughs> I fell into this like, I don't want to call it a trap because that's not really what it is, but I started Monday, which is my booktube day. That's when I record and edit my booktube videos. Um, for the other channel, by the way, there's a link to it in the description box and also in the pinned comment if you want to check it out. But because I, I spent Monday on that and then I got so caught up in it, um, and also figuring out how to make shorts, essentially, is what happened. I was trying to look into how to make shorts and also reels and TikToks. And I spent my, almost my entire Monday on that. And then a little bit of Tuesday, I realized, so that's yesterday. I don't know, days have flown by. I don't even, what day is it today? It is Wednesday. I got a little bit, like I started second guessing myself there for a second. Anyway, so um, I got so caught up in doing reels and shorts that I just completely just like I said, okay, it's fine. We'll move Zodiac houses to next week also because I'm not home this weekend, so. I would have, um, it requires me to be able to record four houses in one week, which might not sound like much, but it is. <laughs> so it's a lot of, it's a lot of videos, uh, a lot of build videos more specifically. So I will do my best to do them next week. So if you're waiting for like Aquarius and Pisces, don't worry. I am not skipping them. I am not going to ignore them. I'm an Aquarius. I am not, not doing my own sign. Like I wouldn't do that. <laughs> So they're going to arrive on the channel at some point. I'm going to I'm going to make sure to record them at some point. I just need to I just need to make sure that I actually have the time that week to do all four. But it'll definitely be before the new pack is out and everything cuz listen, the amount of the amount of not tiny houses, the amount of family homes that we're going to do when the new pack is out is you guys are going to get so tired of it and I'm not. So you're just gonna have to deal, okay? That's gonna be our agreement, our deal. You just have to like, learn to live with it and I'm gonna have the time of my life. So yeah, that sounded kind of rude anyway. Um, but I love, I love building family houses. As you guys know, if you've been around on the channel for a while, I family houses and tiny houses are basically my thing. Like that's what I do here. So I'm super excited to have more excuses to build more of them when the pack is out and um, that's also why I decided that we're gonna do this because I started building this right after doing the trailer reaction video like finishing uploading it and everything I was like I'm gonna build a family farmhouse so um, we're gonna do some hopefully one or two more family homes this week I should have time for it I, it should be possible <laughs> so yeah um, I say that's weird because like usually I would not be like I should have time for it but I'm very much prioritizing having weekends off these days because it's healthy so I'm taking care of myself but now I'm like I should have time for it and I hate that because usually I would make time for it like I would just make sure that there was time for it but it's also important to take care of yourself and take time off now and then you know so or just weekends as most people do anyway, so I've just been really bad at that. So I'm trying to make it a priority, but yes, that's just if I, if I start building something huge, it's gonna take two days out of the five that I have available to record. So it is what it is. I do have this like huge, I should probably talk about this build. I realize that, but I'm just quickly gonna get this thought out of the way. So I have this like 
huge tutor like house that I've saved that I want to do like a generations a three or four generations uh, family house for, for or in I've whatever um and I just haven't gotten to it because it's like huge and I know it's going to take me like 16 hours to build <laughs> or something like that that's a lot of that's a lot of hours you know um so I've just I had it saved I've had it saved on my spreadsheet since like December I'm going to take the plunge after next week. If I manage Zodiac's houses next week, I'm going to do it the week after. I'm going to make it my mission, make it a goal. I'm going to do my best. So there might be a tutor house up. If not, then ignore everything I just said, because then it turns out that I felt like I wasn't really up for it anyway. <laughs> but I've had it saved for such a long time now that I feel like I should get to it if you get what, if you get what I mean. So, um, yeah, anyway. So as for this house though, we're building it in Brindleton Bay. So I started building it on a 30 by 20. I've moved it to a 30 by 30 because I realized that there was not gonna be enough room to actually do any proper landscaping that I wanted to do. So I decided to move it from the forest area in Brindleton Bay down to one of the areas where you can see the cows in the background. Yes, and also where there's by default a park. And I believe this is also, by default, there might be a veterinarian, a vet, veteran, is that how you say that? A pet doctor area, <laughs> house, whatever. I can't actually remember what the worlds look like by default, because I haven't seen, seen those in like three years. Like, I don't, I don't remember at all. <laughs> Except when we get new packs. But then I see them for like a day, you know, and then suddenly my houses are there instead. Like, that's a thing. So I can't remember Brindleton Bay because it's such a long time ago by now. It's like 20, what was it, 2017, I think. So, um, yeah, but I think there might be a vet veterinarian house building here. But there's definitely a park on the other side. So uh, this is like one of the lots that I really like to build on, actually. It's very light, very bright. We have like a, a road on the left side, so there's not gonna be a house on the other side annoying you. There's nice, it's spacious around the lot as well. And there's always cats and dogs walking in front of it because we're building in Brindleton Bay. So I just really enjoy building on this one. I think I have, uh, whenever I build here with a character, I usually have them adopt one of the cats or dogs that I'll walk by outside, especially if they're sick, cause I just feel so sad. So I feel really bad about it, even though they're just pixels, but still. So I always have them uh, adopt something. <laughs> or not always, but a lot of the time, so. But the house itself, like I mentioned, two parents, and then they got their bedroom on the ground floor, and there is three more bedrooms on the second floor. I kind of imagine them to have twins, That so the two kids are twins. I thought that would be kind of cute for some reason. So, um, and then the teen shares the floor with them, which must be super annoying, <laughs> but they have their own bathroom on the second floor. There are two other bathrooms on the ground floor. One of them is an ensuite for the parents' bedroom, as you can see right here on the left side. And then the kitchen is super small, but it has what it needs to have. They have two dining areas. So they have this little like sunroom, which actually is more like a terrace or a, um, What's it called when it's like sealed, when it has windows and stuff? I forgot what that's called. <laughs> but like a roofed terrace with windows as well. That's not, that's just another room, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, but they have one of those, but also a dining area. Oh, I forgot to place down an extra chair at that table. You might have to place down an extra chair at the dining table in the kitchen because I forgot to do that because there's supposed to be five chairs, but I only see four. So, whoops. I remember when I placed it down, I was like, remember the fifth chair? Because usually I won't place one at the end of the table. I just, I don't know why. Maybe I have like flashbacks of like uh, bumping my knee because we're all tall in my family. So whenever we do like Christmas dinners, for example, or if there's been some kind of family dinner, we don't, we didn't really do that. Um, I say we didn't because we've all moved out by now, but we also didn't really do that. So it must be like New Year's or Christmas dinners and we're all tall, almost all tall. <laughs> so imagine us bumping our knees together underneath the table all the time. So I don't like this, like um, having, having chairs at the end of the table. It's just a little bit annoying, but 
yeah, just remember to place down an extra tier because I forgot because I just forgot. So, uh, but they also, I decided to give them sort of like a mudroom situation, which is this one, where they also have a laundry wall right over here, which I try to do something different with because I tend to, I don't know, I tend to make laundry rooms like super small, so they're either like four squares, sometimes just two. I don't know, it just needs to be like a closet with a couple of laundry machines in there, you know? But I wanted to do something a little bit different for this one. So you have like um, towels showing and uh, there's like clutter on the counters and stuff. I just wanted to do a little bit more than I usually do. So we're combining some cabinets and some counters and also some of these box shelves that are from high school years, I think it is actually. And then just adding a lot of towels because, you know, what better place to store your towels than in the in the laundry room? And then on top of that, they just have like practical things out here. There's some storage. I think I, yes, also added, added that or did I remove? I might have removed it, but just some uh, like practical things. Oh, I should have added the broom. I might have. I should have done that because they would fit this house so, so well, but I can't remember if I just didn't. Anyway, and then of course the litter, litter box because what better place? I actually don't really know normally where to place litter boxes, so a room like this feels like it just makes sense to me, but I've never had a cat. I am not planning on getting a cat at any point, so it's not something that I actually looked into. Sometimes I know that I've placed them, placed them in the bathroom, but they also take up a lot of space and as someone who doesn't really like to do big bathrooms, you know, yeah, don't want to take up that one square by these ginormous litter boxes. So to me, it just makes sense to put one of them or put a litter box or whatever, the litter box in the, uh, the mudroom slash laundry room if you have room for it. So I have to sneeze and I've had to sneeze for like a minute but I know it's super annoying I'm just trying to talk so I'm gonna do my best to keep track of where we are in the um, in the in the house right now usually I have my which I also do today I have my house up on my second monitor so or not the house but the uh, like the floor plan picture of it that I put at the end of the video however today because there's so much landscaping at the front of the house the house is not centered so <laughs> Having some issues like looking past walls because they're taking up a lot of space, but this is the, or they're like blocking my view of the rooms. You can see the picture at the end of the video, so you'll, hopefully it'll make sense at that point, but I don't know how many of you actually watch the screenshots. I know when I watched uh, speed builds, I would not watch the screenshots, which is why <laughs> I like tours are fine and stuff, but like I'd always click off the video before the tour or before the screenshots. So that's why it's just kind of, I'm assuming none of you do. Like I could put all kinds of random costumes or Sims in costumes in the screenshots and nobody would say a thing. <laughs> anyway, so this is the uh, this is the teens room. A lot of clutter going on in here. I was really trying to keep the camera still while I was decorating a lot of this, especially up here on the second floor because the roofing was annoying me so much. Like I was bumped up and down so, so, so many times. I wish that was not a thing. I know you can take down the walls and then it's fine, but then you can't actually decorate the walls, so it's it's not fine. <laughs> I prefer being able to see the walls when I am decorating, is my point. And also, I don't know if I've done this color already for the bed swatch. I hope I haven't. I'm really trying to go through the colors or the swatches for the high school years beds, the different ones trying to just get inspired by the color scheme and stuff. So I don't think I've done this one, which is why I picked it, but I might also, I might have, cause I have done a lot of builds since high school years came out. So there's probably gonna be some duplicates out there, but was inspired by the um, very calm and nice color scheme on that, on that like color duo. Is it three or two colors? I can't tell. Um, but on that bedding, like blue and blue and mint, sort of. It's just nice, nice and calm. So yeah. And while the rest of the house is very like soft and comfortable to be in when it comes to the color scheme, very homey, very relaxed and chill and just 
they like I wanted the house to look like the family is humble in some way. Does that make sense? Like I feel, I feel like that makes sense in my head, but maybe not. I just want it to. I just need it to be this like comfortable place. So that's the color scheme for the rest of the house. But I always make sure to, or almost always at least, make sure to make the uh, the kids, especially their bedrooms, their own. So like the color scheme is different from the rest of the house. It's the same today, although I did decide to go for the same bed for the two, uh, the twins. They just get different color schemes because I thought that would kind of be like, hey, they're twins for some reason because they have the same pattern on the bedding. It's logical, but it's also not logical, so <laughs> don't question it too much, okay? That's what binds them together. That's what makes them twins, that they have the same pattern on the bed sheets. That's is that what it's called? The bedding? I don't know. The throw on the bed. Whatever. On their... Do I don't even know what they're called. Comforters? Duvets? Why do you have so many words for that, by the way? And also... We're not going to get into that discussion today because I'll, I'm will i going to be here for a while and we only have like eight minutes left of this video. That's a long time actually because I have only been doing voiceovers for tiny houses lately and it kind of hits me that, you know, you could have done a whole tiny house in eight minutes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, what about this room? I can't remember this room very well, to be honest. Like, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. Oh, I forgot to decorate those shelves, possibly... Either I forgot to decorate them completely or I just forgot it on cam. I think I might have decorated them separately. It happens sometimes, okay? Sometimes I overlook things because I'm human. I make mistakes. But um, other than that, just also inspired by the color scheme on the bed. So uh, I feel like it's different uh, or difficult to find stuff in that coral kind of pink orange color that is on this bedding. Or is it mainly like pink? I don't know, I feel like it's kind of coral as well. We don't really have a lot of items that are coral in The Sims, so it was mainly blue in there. But I do like that color, coral. We should have more of that, yeah. I'm gonna start a petition to get both more red hair swatches and yes, red. So if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna say that we're also missing blonde hairs, don't do that because you got extra hair swatches in the last update. Redheads did not, and I'm still bothered by it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start a petition for that, but also I'm gonna start a petition for more purple items in The Sims and more coral items. I'm not gonna start any petitions, I'm just joking, just in case you couldn't tell, but um, I'm tempted to, so. I do feel like, it, it wasn't to be rude by the way, but I do feel like sometimes I have to specify when I'm just joking about something because I know that I sound serious most of the time. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say that it's either a family thing or it's a Danish thing because we're very sarcastic. So everything is just said like we sound super serious, but then we're joking. It's a whole thing. Yeah. It might just be a family thing. I don't know. It might also be a Danish thing. It could be either. <laughs> so I knew that as soon as I had built the shell of the house, I, I wanted there to be a pond in this like corner of the house so we have two exits from the house itself which is probably a fire hazard but too bad so there's the front door and then there's the side door you get to the side door through the mud room slash laundry room and i wanted there to be a path leading around this pond in this corner of the house so or in the corner of the shell of the house and then just a lot of plants and make it wild make it a little bit dark because the hair the hair? The house itself? Where did that come from? Hair? What? Anyway, the hair of the house. The roof, of course. But the uh, the walls and, you know, the house itself is very light, very white, very bright. So we're add adding some contrast with this very dark green forest looking landscaping, if that makes sense. I didn't want it to be colorful, which is why I'm only adding a little bit of white here and there. I mainly wanted it to be green and then just look a little bit wild, basically. So I think I managed, but like, you be the judge. And so that's basically, that's basically what we're doing with the landscaping. It's quite simple, I wanna say. I did have a little bit of fun with tool now and then, especially placing down these rocks, just to make the pond a little bit more interesting because not a whole lot going on around it, to be honest. Um, I did add like a fishing sign. I don't know if it's a functional fishing sign. I can't remember which one I decided to go for. 
Uh, but um, the pawn should be usable for something at least. So just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So we're adding some plants and the rocks as well. I am definitely favoring these rocks these days just because they have a little bit more texture on them compared to the other ones that I've been using for like years and years. You know, the basic ones. These are from Live Edit probably so they're just a little bit more fun but they're also huge so you gotta slice them down just just fyi just in case um you you want to use them as well just remember to slice them down because they're humongous unless you like big rocks then go ahead go crazy you know just do your thing um but then also add added a little bit of a parking spot over here for a truck whenever i build like farmhouses or just houses that are or could be in the countryside i'm like they need a truck so they have a black one this time i was tempted to go for the orange but it just looked a little bit too it stood out a lot because there's not really a whole lot of color to this house and the landscaping like i said before so decided to go for the black one instead as for the uh the yard the garden all right they have this super cute swing set i think it's called um, it's the island living one, so it's the one that actually looks like they've put it together themselves instead of bought one made out of plastic or whatever it's made out of. I don't know. We always, we just had like, we didn't even, we didn't have like a swing set. We had a rope, no, two ropes with a plank in the middle that was hanging from a branch. I'm pretty sure. And then it was like, because we had like, I'm gonna make this sound like my backyard was huge. It really was not. So it just happened to be on a on a hill, kind of, like a slope. Super nice during winter when it was snowing, by the way, because you could like, I forgot what those are called. Slide down on those like plastic things. <laughs> yes, those things. Um, you could do that in the winter. But then during the summer as well, we have this swing that you could swing over the slopes so, like <laughs> you'd be super high up in the air. We lived wild. It was it was a wildlife, a wild childhood. Not really, because I gamed a lot, but I'm sure it was wild for my sisters who didn't. <laughs> One of them actually broke a leg at some point on the slope because no, I don't want to tell that story because some of you are gonna squeamish and stuff. So I'm gonna spare you the details. But she did. She broke her leg. So sounded like a wild childhood for sure. Never broke a leg playing video games, I'm just saying. I shouldn't speak though, because I did Taekwondo and I have had broken feet twice and a broken toe and several sprained ankles and arms, so, and fingers. Lots of fingers, <laughs> so, so I really shouldn't talk. But, um, never broke anything on that slope though. Is it even called a slope? I don't know if it's called a slope or not, but you guys always figure out what I mean anyway, because you're so smart, so, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you got like a clear image of what I mean in your head anyway, right? Okay, good. So anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, I gave them a chicken coop as well and a little gardening area and also a flower arrangement station, a beekeeping house. They have, because they also have like a, a dining table on the patio, I think. Did I not give them one? Oh, right, no, because they already had that one. Oh, right, they have a little one. A teeny one but i did give them the uh the picnic table over here along with the grill as well so they can do a little bit of fun like eating outside situation too but um i think that is basically it for this one i love to see the chicken coop in brindleton bay actually for some reason it feels right you know what i mean just feels right but that's it for this video. So if you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it on the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the tree files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment, where you can also find a link to my booktube channel. So if you like to watch videos where people talk about books, give book recommendations and all that stuff, check it out. But that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Cause nothing's written on the wall. Yeah, it's too soon to mention how I've begun to feel that I want your attention. This time it is for real. Oh, baby, love me like you did last night. I want.
So 